Hey everyone, I just made this video. I'm comparing my Deluxe Reverb, it's a 68 Custom Classic with a gold in it, and um, I'm comparing that to the Fender 1965 Bassman uh, piggyback with the Jensen's. Now you might say, wait a second, one amp is vintage and all that stuff, but I wanted to see, you know, uh, one in the room and two, uh, listening back because hindsight isn't always 2020 or memory is whatever golden glasses or rose colored glasses i don't know but I, I wanted to see in the room and watching this video how they kind of compared because uh i want to use one live and uh yeah well here here's the video and then i'll discuss more afterwards you guys heard the clips I set both amps up to sound the best I didn't try to match the settings in the room the basement sounded brighter than it did on the clip and the deluxe sounded like it had a lot more bass than it did in the clip so it doesn't sound like both amps were brighter or both amps were darker they both kind of went opposite ways uh, I really love the chime of the deluxe. It sounded a lot fuller in the room. Uh, the basement didn't sound as like dark and muddy. It was, it sounded more balanced in the room. Um, and I, I, I like, I liked them both a lot, like for different reasons. The basement had more mids. The, the deluxe was scooped. Kind of going either way. It's like kind of the the chiminess and cleanness of the deluxe and the portability and also the headroom is perfect like right where i have it it starts to cook where the basement has a ton more headroom which you know depending on like you know if, if the amps set perfectly you know and you run out of headroom you know and you need to get louder you're kind of you know so yeah, I, I think I'm just gonna leave it up in the air. Uh, I'm leaning towards the deluxe for portability and the chime, but in the basement, I've you know used it so many times in the past. I've had it for a long time. Um, it's it's you know been on old house on gigs, it was on all my tangent theory gigs, and you know why not bring it back to the forefront? So I'm I'm in the debate mode right now of which one I want to use. And I, I don't think it matters because uh, whatever I decide to use at the, at the gig, you know, we'll have a gig next month, I'll use. I ordered my backup quilter amp and uh, it's the little head, it's the, the 101 head and I'm gonna put that in my gig bag and 
I can use it with the deluxe. I can, I've done that before where I pulled the deluxe speaker cable out and plugged it in the back of the, uh, uh, I have a, a zombie, a Joyo zombie, and I, I plugged it in and it sounded good. And it reached, the cord reached. So it should do the same thing with the filter and it shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't be an issue. And if I go with the basement, well, it's, you know, it's just a head, I just plug it in. So the quilter will work with eight or four ohms. So I'm good to go. So I have a nice little backup uh, thing and uh, it should all work out fine. Anyhow, the quilter's coming in the mail. I'm gonna definitely have to give a little bit of a uh, demo of that when I get that. Uh, and my, uh, my new pickups, my Gen 4 Noiseless, are coming in the mail. So I should have some videos comparing those to the uh, current DiMaggio Hots. I'm going to have a comparison video of the DiMaggio Hots with the Texas Specials. And I got to compare them all before I start pulling pickups out and switching things around. But uh, that's the future. And uh, so I'll have those videos out when I after I film them. So that's all. See you guys next week. Have a good